Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Taurus for my tooth reading. This is going to be your own reading today, Taurus. And uh, we're going to have the gypsy spread. We're going to start it here, and then we're going to complete it in the extended. Let's see what we have. Let's get some a few oracle cards here for you, Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the volcano. This is sometimes something that has been oppressed is kind of blowing up, like emerging, like feelings coming out. Sometimes it can be that. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. And we have the toad. This is humor. It's not really about too much else, but kind of humor. Maybe you have really fun with somebody. Maybe they're funny. And we have Emily Dickinson, the soul. So Emily Dickinson is, she's not holding a cat. She's holding, I forget the name of this animal, to be honest. But Emily Dickinson uh, uh, wrote about the soul. I feel like she was somebody who uh, grew up in a really rich family. And they all wanted her to go to church and, you know, all these social events. And she's like, oh, no, I don't want to go do that. And uh, But she definitely was intuitive and she was wise. I feel like that's how it goes. I was listening to uh, an astro theology. His name is Santos Bonacci. And these are people who know that astrology and religion were one in the same until these elites came in and lied to everybody. They've been lying to us about everything under the sun, you guys. Yeah, telling you that so-and-so is good and that this was created out of love or, you know, or because they had to save people. Yeah, throughout history, it was created for control and profits and they are still doing that and it just blows my mind how... People are not kind of waking up to that, right? So let's get back to this. Uh, somebody could be uh, actually kind of kind of really using their intuition or deep down in their soul here about, uh, about some feelings that have been kind of held down. And now these feelings are emerging. I feel like they are. So let's see what we have, Taurus. And you have the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands. Mm-hmm. I feel like you think somebody's grieving here. The, the Nine of Wands looking right at the Five of Cups. The Devil card is your highest expectations. And let's see what we have here. Because this is going to be an interesting reading. I can already tell. Let's see what else we have, Taurus. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. It could be uh, maybe another Earth sign. This could be you. Let's see here. So there's some type of uh, couple like... Somebody here, you're in love with somebody here, Two of Cups, right, showing up in the reading. You're in love with somebody, Taurus. This is how you are affecting them. You could be making somebody feel like, kind of, that they want to be with you. That they're not with you. That they don't have this Two of Cups. Like, it is out of their reach because it's in the reverse. It's a possibility. Um, could be a few things, right? We're going to clarify these cards because this is kind of... 25% uh, or you know this is kind of the kind of tip in the iceberg here uh, but you know there's some type of feeling that somebody it could be your person this person you're thinking about here or you know who's part of this story you're hoping here for uh, like a love offer or an apology or a new start in love you could be hoping for communication page of cups Taurus right and let's see here okay and, you know, down here, I just think you think somebody's grieving an ending. You look like you're, like, wondering definitely what's going to happen with this situation, right? Somebody, I feel like, who is funny or brings you some joy, something like that. Let's see what we have. We have the page of, I mean, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Toad. I mean the toad. Sorry, you guys. Uh, the five, So we have the Knight of Wands, the Five of Cups. We do have the toad, but that's what I was. And the devil is over here. There's some type of bondage or fear, Taurus, in this reading. I, I don't... could be yours. Let's, let's have a look here. Let's get some more cards here. Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you're looking at this kind of... I feel like you're wondering if somebody's grieving an ending. That's kind of what I feel like you are wondering here. Which kind of sounds strange, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I feel like you want to reunite with somebody, Three of Cups. <coughs> you could be wondering if they're taking action to do that. 
to reunite with you. And, you know, because I don't feel like this emotional loss is your loss, Taurus. I feel like there's somebody here that's, somebody's been hiding their feelings or holding their feelings back, but they really want to be with you. And this could be you as well. The chariot card. So you're wondering, in my opinion, if you're going to have victory with somebody. And maybe if possibly if they are grieving on some level. You're wondering if you're going to reunite with them. There could be like three people in this reading or it's it's about, this, they don't have to be in this reading, but it could be a story that involves three people. It could be the devil is your highest expectations with the empress. That could be you, the empress. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. So, you know, this is, I feel like you are, you want a new beginning with somebody, but you could maybe be feeling like this person is in bondage or in fear. Or you are in bondage or fear, but this is about somebody else too. King of Swords. This is your highest expectations. This King of Swords is not you. <coughs> I feel like you're, you're thinking somebody's going to make a decision here. But like, I feel like it's to reunite with you. Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles, to have like this new start. Somebody you love, Two of Cups reversed. Somebody who is really important. But you could, maybe you're just thinking, you know what, but this person's in fear. Could be, right? Or bondage. Because here you are, the first two cards in the reading, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, looking at the grieving man. Like, I wonder if my person is grieving, kind of, or somebody who's really important. Coming into play, the Emperor and the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords reversed. So, this is coming into play. This is suspicions. I feel like you are, like, questioning, if this, is this person preparing to come to bring me a new beginning? Yeah, I feel like you are questioning that. I feel like you worried about this in the past. You did, most likely. You could, like, and when I say suspicions, maybe this is somebody else, you know, who has suspicions. I feel like it's more like curiosity, but let's have a look here. Three of Swords reversed. This is what I mean about third-party energy here. I feel like there could be. And if there is not, there is definitely heartbreak. Maybe this is past heartbreak, but you're wondering if you're going to have a new beginning with somebody. You are wondering that. That is very clear. Uh, let's look at this recent past energy. Four of Wands, Hangman. So this is mm -hmm. Six of Cups, somebody from your past. I feel like I said that earlier, but maybe not. But this is about uh, a reunion with somebody from your past. It is. And in the past, I feel like you felt really stuck about this. Maybe they were in another union, Four of Wands. You felt really stuck. And I feel like you were trying to understand the situation. Like, completely enlighten yourself. Maybe this is about a Piscean. There's a lot of folks, potential folks here. Uh, you, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, OMG, the Aries, Pisces. Maybe another earth sign. I mean, it's really a long list. And what's coming soon is the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is coming soon. I feel like this is good luck or divine timing or some type of fated event. Yeah, let's see what else we have. Six of Wands. Yeah, you have something good coming. I feel like you have a victory coming, Taurus. Yeah, you have a victory coming with somebody. The person you are worried kind of worried, concerned, maybe dwelling on, you have a new beginning with them. And I do feel like you are in this energy about them if they're grieving another situation. It's possible they're grieving because of many different reasons, but could one could be, you know, this Three of Swords is here. This Three of Cups is here. And how other people are affecting you is the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and I feel like they're bringing you a passionate new opportunity. And they're going to come and really work on things with you. They're going to make an effort. They're enthused for this. And I feel like you know that. This person is excited. This is like enthusiastic, right? Like this man is working. He loves his job. This is inspiration. Yeah, he does. He's like, don't make me get a jab just to come to work. And don't keep blocking my that medicine that's available to treat people. Yeah. Don't keep blocking it and, and like in condemning it. 
Yeah, don't make any comments in the, uh, <clears throat> don't make comments, you guys, in the comments. If you want to know about anything, create 898 at protonmail.com, create 898 at protonmail.com. Yeah, so let's continue here, you guys, and this is how other people are affecting you. Mm-hmm, they're bringing you this, uh, uh, Taurus, yeah. I kind of brought that up because here you are working, or them. I feel like it's them working hard, right? Like to make this work between you guys, and they're, they are enthusiastic. Two of Cups reversed, Five of Swords. This is how you are affecting them. Yeah, you can't make any uh, comments uh, about this, what I said here about medicine, you guys, because, because there's no free speech. There's not, okay? You can't speak freely. People talking codes and all kinds of stuff because of so many things people don't know about, all right? So let's get back to this, Taurus, all right? Because you're one of my best buds, you are. Uh, my moon is Taurus, right? <laughs> you guys, okay, this is how you're affecting other people. Two of Cups reversed, Five of Swords. Mm-hmm. You are, like, having this person defeat another union. Yeah, because they want to be with you, Two of Cups reversed. I feel like you're kind of having them defeat another union. It sounds mean, but this is this is the only way to kind of, like, uh, convey this placement or explain it well. It really is. Uh, I feel like you're having them, like, defeat another situation, Five of Swords. The Five of Cups is here. These are, you know, endings. They really are. And the Page of Cups is your hopes or fears with the Page of Swords. You're wondering here. You're hoping. Are they coming with that offer? You're really wondering here. I feel like you know somebody loves you, but you're not like 100% sure they're coming. That's I feel like that's what this reading is about. We're going to end this reading here, but actually we're going to do it after we uh, start the Gypsy Spread for us. Thanks so much for not making comments on that, because even if you don't really believe in that, and you believe in, you know, uh, taking what they want you to take, that's fine. It's not even, you know, the biggest... Uh, the problem here is that we need our options and choices. Otherwise, we don't live in a free place. No, we don't. So let's see what we have, you guys. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily agree with me, right? But there is a lot of hidden information, you guys. A lot. Yeah. It's terrible. And when it comes out, when it, when it is shown, they say, that. oh, no, that's not true. Oh, no, yeah. So let's see what we have. And in the environment, in the... Uh, the heart of the matter is the house card, you guys. The challenge is the thief. Yeah, so this is like cheating, right? Or somebody who kind of... The thief is coming back in, in into the room. Like somebody could be returning after they've lied, possibly. But I feel like this person lied to... Maybe they lied to you, but this thief is like... like it's somebody who causes loss, but he's coming back. It's really interesting. Let's see what else we have. And we have the conversation card is the outcome. The outcome, this is like a decision, but this outcome is, it is like, it can be, uh, it's usually a decision. It can be a conversation where somebody tells somebody, hey, blah, blah, blah. And what is coming into play here is constancy. Somebody has not stopped loving somebody here. And this, you know this, and this is why you are wondering if they are coming forward. So let's see, and also, I beg your pardon, we're going to look at how they feel with the tarot about you, Taurus. The issues between you guys, what's on your mind, their near future, and their environment, physical or emotional, probably emotional, right? What you don't know about them, or both, and uh, what they could be hiding, and their outcome, or their true intentions. Thanks so much for joining me here. God bless everybody. Yeah, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and regardless of whether people not people agree on things uh, because of what they have not learned or, you know, or what they think they may know or, or whatever, whatever reason, it doesn't matter. It, we need our choices, right guys? We do. Otherwise uh, we are just like any other, you know, place that nobody really wants to be in. All right. Thank you so much, you guys.